What's good guys? I'm John the Chief and for this video it's gonna be on how to get the best weapon in Dying Light to stay human and that is the crossbow. The crossbow is great for taking down any high health uh, infected like the demolishers and the goons without really being in too much danger and also it basically one shots all actual human based enemies so any of the lieutenants that you fight at the outpost or any actual renegades that you encounter you can basically instant kill them with the crossbow which is amazing you don't even have to put yourself in any danger you just shoot them once and they go flying with the impact bolt it makes it super easy to progress throughout the game so how do we obtain the crossbow you're gonna have to align four facilities to the peacekeepers. So what you're gonna have to do is that on any of the neutral territories within the map, you're gonna have to go to the facility for that area and then align it to the peacekeeper. So you have to go to the electrical station or the water tower in the neutral territory, clear it out, and then all you do is align it to the peacekeepers. And once you get four of them, you are gonna have access to the crossbow. Now. You will be missing out because this is part of the choices in the game where you have to pick which side you want to go on. But in my opinion, Peacekeepers is better to go for, especially when it comes to facilities, just because when you do this, you actually get a real weapon instead of just a few perks for the actual running around the map. Like a double sided zip line is nice, but it's not like over a crossbow, if that makes sense. So I highly recommend going for the peacekeepers when you're aligning the, your facilities. When you're cleaning out your electrical stations and water towers, you want to send it over to them because there's not enough for you to actually send it to both sides and clear, finish off getting all the upgrades for the survivors and then go and get your crossbow from the peacekeepers. And this is the only way to get the crossbow. Now, the crossbow, one of the big advantages to it is that it actually scales damage with your rank. So as you move up in rank from leveling up your combat and parkour skills, you are actually gonna end up doing more damage with the crossbow. So it doesn't matter when you unlock it, it will start doing damage equivalent to what you should be doing to other weapons around your level. And it's semi-automatic, so you can just fire off five quick shots and deal a ton of damage to any enemy right away without even trying is great and with all the elementals that you can do with it specifically the impact is my favorite you can actually take down any human enemy instantaneously and with something like lacerating or toxic bolts you can actually deal a lot of damage to demolishers and goons really fast by having those damage over time effects in addition to your normal damage and also it gets buffs from the ranger class mods so all your ranger gear that you're going to be having equipped you are going to get range damage bonuses and that benefits greatly especially once you start getting to the higher ranks like if you get each gear to give you over 10 percent more range damage that's 60 percent more damage and i still haven't figured out whether it's additive or multiplicative but that's just if it's additive if it's multiplicative it's going to be even better for our damage buff so it is really powerful especially in the late game when you are hunting down your goons and your demolishers in order to get better loot you are going to want this weapon also when you're fighting scaled volatiles in different zones you're gonna definitely need this weapon in order to actually stand the chance. So, I highly recommend getting it. It's great for taking down all those targets and farming. And yeah, that is how to get the crossbow, my friends. Hope all of you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And have a good day.